Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin. I am a third year PhD student in history and African American studies here at Yale. And I'm taking you along for a little week in my life. We're getting started on a Tuesday. I did not record yesterday because it was very dreary outside and I just didn't want to bring out my camera. I got up this morning, made up my coffee and am working on some documents. I am working on editing Chanel's Marshall essays. She's applying for various scholarships for schools in the UK. And so I'm just helping her with her documents before I head off to class. I did a little co-working with Accepted Society and now I'm about to pack up my bag and head over to campus for the lecture. And so I'm gonna take you along for this week. So stick around and let's see what it holds. about the sponsor of today's video, which is Factor. Factor is a meal prep service that offers complete nutritious meals that you can put into your fridge and take out at any time of day and just heat up for two minutes in the microwave on the go. As a PhD student, an entrepreneur, a content creator, my time is limited and people ask me all the time about how I manage my time and how it is that I navigate my schedules. And one thing that really helps is having nutritious meals prepared in advance and factor is something that I found a couple months ago and have been utilizing to supplement the times when I'm not able to cook because not only are their meals absolutely delicious, they also have options in terms of if you have a particular diet. So for example, if you're keto or paleo, dairy-free, vegan, whatever it may be, these meals are delivered straight to your door and they are packed with ice so that way they stay nice and fresh and you can just put them into your fridge. And in just a few minutes, you can have the meal that will fuel your day and prepare you for whatever lies ahead. I am a former athlete and I have had to really critically think about my relationship with food and nutrition and my health. And one thing that's really helpful is having nutritionally complete meals such as these that are created by Factor because it's got vegetables, it's got protein, it's got the starches that you need in order to actually supply your body with the energy needed to perform throughout the day. I believe it was actually started for fitness and for athletes, but it's also something that is very helpful for those of us in the day-to-day, -day, just on the go, running from place to place. It makes my day-to-day -day life so much simpler and it also ensures that I am getting the nutrition and the protein that I need throughout the day in order to perform as a student and in order to show up for my work in the way that I need to. So if you're interested in checking out Factor and having pre-prepared meals in your fridge at all times in order to help you achieve your goals, then go ahead and check out the description down below and let's go ahead and get back into the video. Just finished class and my meeting with the professor for the class. We were talking about the essays for the first paper and figuring out the prompts. So I'm gonna go work on that. I'm gonna grab a quick snack at the Schwartzman and then go to the library and get a little bit of work done on revising those before switching gears, finishing up Chanel's essays, doing some work on my prospectus, and then doing more reading for class. So it's gonna be a busy afternoon, but it's a very good day so far.
was just a terrible essay you've ever one of the most terrible like scholarship applications you've read read. Oh me, I have seen the worst of the worst. <laughs> this is not this is not even close. <laughs> As you saw, Chanel has now submitted her Marshall application and I need to write her a letter of recommendation for the roads and the gates. And it feels really weird to be writing letters of recommendation, but it's really cool. I'm really excited for her and my fingers are crossed because I cannot think of anybody who deserves it more. And she's worked so hard and I'm glad that I was able to help with the application materials for her and my clients. And now I am working on the essay prompts for the class that I'm teaching. I am just trying to figure out how to formulate the questions. I've never done this before, so it's a new exercise for me. And I'm trying to figure out how exactly to frame it. The main goal of the papers is to get the students to connect the primary sources and the analysis of the primary sources with the secondary literature and the arguments of the secondary literature and it feels really weird to be on the other side being that I, I've always been a student. I've always been the one being given the prompts and now I'm the one required to write them and have them edited by the lead faculty member. So it's a weird process, but it feels really cool to be on this side of things. Also, one of my old professors emailed me the other day who actually asked for recommendations on Black British history. And that was really cool. And I just feel like it's coming full circle. And I just am really enjoying the process of teaching and really enjoying this stage of the PhD, even though everything else in my life feels absolutely chaotic. I feel so overwhelmed by running the businesses and teaching and working my prospectus and also still trying to do readings and other work for comprehensive exams and it's just a lot but I have to say this stage of the PhD is making me really excited to go do the research because I was digging into some of the secondary literature yesterday and trying to figure out the various sources that I wanted to include for my prospectus and I'm just really excited by the process and it's a good place to be in and feeling really good about it. I feel really overwhelmed by stuff for accepted and don't really feel like I have a handle on it whatsoever, but at least the stuff for my PhD feels like very on top of it. Time to work. Are you the best pup pup in the whole wide world? Do you need a bath? Let's go. Good morning, everyone. Today is now Wednesday. Sit. Huh? Oh, thank you. This morning, I went ahead and gave Little Miss Moose a bath because she was looking quite scraggly. And she 
gets all this stuff up in her mustache when she's dirty. So I'm just getting her nice and clean. And now I'm gonna go ahead and sit down on the couch. I'm gonna get a little bit of reading done. I had a bit of a slow start this morning cause I don't have any calls until noon. And so I just wanted to kind of take it easy. I've been feeling a little bit like I'm on the way to burning out mostly because I just have a lot going on and I've just been really stressed as of late. And so I am trying to take some advice from my friends, my family and my therapist and actually take a little bit of a breather and so I'm going to sit on the couch and just enjoy sitting with Moo, who's an absolute maniac right now, running around the apartment. Lucia. That's my plan for the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna head to campus after I do a podcast interview. And then I have a filming project that I'm doing. And then I have a meeting with some of the women in my prospectus colloquium. And... <laughs> Then I will talk to London Boy, and then I think I'm gonna co work with Miss Chloe Landis this afternoon, evening. So that is the plan for today. I'm gonna go ahead and take you along and see what we get up to, and hope that it is a good, productive day because I have a lot of reading I need to get done. Hi, Kaylin. Thank you so much for coming on Real Radiant Podcast. Hi, Morgan. Thanks for having me. Thank you, I'm so excited to have you on today. So the big question of the podcast that I love asking everybody that comes on is what is one quote that has resonated with you and changed your perspective on things like life, jobs, relationships, anything like that? So the one that actually is like the wallpaper on my phone and the one that I've been using as kind of a guiding force is the, it's a quote from Grace Beverly and she was in an interview where she said to do less better. And I really like that, especially as somebody that tends to fill my calendar with a lot of things. And I have been trying to think about how it is that I can implement that in my businesses as well as in my academic life. And so that's the one that's been resonating recently. I just finished up the interview with Morgan and I'm having my lunch from Factor. This is the beef Greek bowl. It's got some zucchini, squash, beef, some cherry tomatoes, and has this little sauce on the side. It was a good interview. Talked to all things, time management, wellness, and you know, running businesses and being a PhD student. But I'm just gonna eat my lunch quickly and then I'm gonna pack up and head over to the library, hang out with Colin. We've got little Miss Moo over here who is all dry and very happy to be cuddled up in her blanket at the moment. But good productive morning. I am a little worse for wear. I feel like I could definitely use a nap, but we're gonna power through and I'm gonna try to go to bed early tonight because I keep saying I'm gonna go to bed early and then I end up staying up until one in the morning. So I need to actually make an effort to go to sleep. Early. But that is the way of it. I really wanna do Project 50 again, actually, because I was so good about going to sleep and actually exercising and living a rather healthy lifestyle back when I did it in the spring. And so maybe I should do it again. Thoughts? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eat and check in with you all in a little while.
I just finished up at the library and picked up some caffeine and are actually doing a video shoot here on cross campus. I'm gonna go meet up with Allie, the videographer, and finish up filming the clips that we got a couple weeks ago when it started raining and Colin will be in the scenes with me. <laughs> so very excited and we're gonna go meet up with her now. All right, I am back from hanging out with Colin in the video shoot. I'm on the phone with London Boy and I have my dinner for the night. From fact, this is herb crusted chicken with some green beans. I'm going to chat with him and eat. And then I'm gonna jump on a co-working call with Miss Chloe Landis so that way I can get the rest of my reading done for the day. Hello, Landis. Hello, Blog. Oh, wow. wow. Elite institution at its finest. <laughs> I got a screenshot. I love, like, Chanel's face. <laughs> <laughs> Is the camera recording? Yes. We are all uh, lamenting about the fact that being educated individuals has ruined our lives because now we all think too much. But like, that's what we wanted. <laughs> but did, but did, you know what? But be careful what you freaking wish for. Be Shall careful. We pull up all of our applications to be okay. But Chanel, listen, <laughs> that was an uninformed decision because we didn't know what it would be like after we've been educated. Like so I think that right. having here you go. I am now of the belief. That like I have a f I have a more intricate understanding of like why academics seem so depressed. <laughs> all the time. Yeah, because they have too many frameworks by which to comprehend the world around them and realize that it's actually not a very kind place. So I had a meeting with him yesterday, and we were talking about my timeline and everything that I should take it in the beginning of spring semester. So massive weight of relief off of my shoulders. Okay. <laughs> but after that conversation, like I had so much anxiety building up to that conversation that like after it happened, like my energy has just been. That makes sense. However, I edited that YouTube video yesterday and it made me really happy. They all have to be in the UK, right? Yeah. Cause I was like, oh, I can just put down like. Trinity. Yeah. Or UCD. Like, oh. Um, what about like Exeter, or Durham? I'll look at those. Let's see. Where is the faculty? But I, I would also look at the stuff up in Scotland. So like Glasgow, St. Andrews, Edinburgh. <laughs>